He is known for his contributions to the field of chemistry and his interest in the lectures of prominent physicists and mineralogists. He is recognized for his research on curative waters and his expedition to study the geology of the Urals. His name is Germain Henri Hess. In the annals of scientific history, one name stands out, Germain Henri Hess, a Swiss chemist whose contributions revolutionized the field. Born in Geneva, Switzerland on August 7, 1802, Hess was raised in a family of educators. His father, an artist, moved the family to Russia in 1805 to work as a tutor. Hess had the privilege of learning German and French at home from his Swiss-born mother, who was also a tutor. Hess's passion for science emerged during his time at the University of Dorpat in the Russian Empire. Initially studying medicine, he became enthralled with chemistry under the guidance of Professor Gottfried W. Osen. Hess's analytical skills and interest in other scientific disciplines, such as physics and mineralogy, flourished during his studies. Graduating with honors, he received his Doctor of Medicine degree in 1825. After an influential meeting with Swedish chemist Johns Jacob Berzelius, Hess's focus shifted entirely to chemistry. Eager to expand his scientific knowledge, he joined an expedition to study the geology of the Urals before settling as a doctor in Irkutsk, Russia. These experiences laid the foundation for Hess's future groundbreaking work in the realm of chemistry. In 1830, Germain Hess, a dedicated chemist, immersed himself in the world of chemistry, conducting research and teaching. He eventually became an adjunct professor of chemistry at the St. Petersburg Academy of Sciences. It was during his time there that he published his most famous paper in 1840, outlining his groundbreaking law on thermochemistry, which would later be known as Hess's Law. Hess's Law, a precursor to the first law of thermodynamics, stated that in a series of chemical reactions, the total energy gained or lost depended solely on the initial and final states, regardless of the number or path of the steps. This principle, also referred to as the law of constant heat summation, revolutionized the understanding of energy changes in chemical reactions. Although Hess was primarily an experimental chemist, he also delved into theoretical investigations. He was particularly intrigued by the relationship between chemical affinity and heat in reactions. Through his experiments on various hydrates of sulfuric acid, he discovered that the heat released during their formation remained constant, regardless of whether the reactions occurred directly or through intermediates. In essence, Hess had formulated a special case of the conservation of energy, two years before Julius Robert Vaughan Mayer presented a more general principle in 1842. In addition to his contributions to thermochemistry, Hess proposed the law of thermoneutrality in 1842. This law stated that no heat is evolved in the exchange reactions of neutral salts in aqueous solution. Although a full explanation for this phenomenon would only be provided 45 years later by the Swedish chemist Svante Arrhenius in terms of electrolytic dissociation, Hess's insight was significant and laid the groundwork for future understanding. Hess's discoveries had a profound impact on the development of chemistry in Russia. His book, Osnovania Chistoi Chimiae, went through multiple editions and served as the standard Russian textbook for undergraduate chemistry until 1861. Hess was not only an influential figure through his written works but also as a teacher and mentor to young scientists. Unfortunately, his declining health forced him to retire in 1848, but his legacy in the field of chemistry would endure for years to come. Do you want to explore more scientists? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.